Matthew chapter 16 verse 16, and Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. What does the verse clearly say? It is Simon Peter who answered and said that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Simon Peter answered and said that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. It is Jesus who is the Christ, the Son of the living God. It is the Christ, the Son of the living God that Jesus is. It is the Son of the living God that Jesus the Christ is. It is the living God's Son, that Jesus the Christ is. What does the verse imply? It is Simon Peter who answered and said that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, thus Simon Peter was the one who answered the question that was posed, by stating the answer. Simon Peter answered and said that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, thus Simon Peter gave the answer regarding the question of Jesus's true identity. Simon Peter answered and said that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, thus Simon Peter gave the answer because he had knowledge regarding the question posed. It is Jesus who is the Christ, the Son of the living God, thus it is not someone else who is the Christ, the Son of the living God. It is Jesus who is the Christ, the Son of the living God, thus it is Jesus whom God anointed to take away people's sins. It is the Christ, the Son of the living God that Jesus is, thus Jesus is the Christ, as well as the Son of the living God. It is the Christ, the Son of the living God that Jesus is, thus the Christ is also the Son of the living God. It is the Christ, the Son of the living God that Jesus is, thus if Jesus was not the Son of the living God, he would not have been the Christ. It is the Christ, the Son of the living God that Jesus is, thus Jesus is not a Christ, i.e. one of many Christs. It is the Christ, the Son of the living God that Jesus is, thus Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God when these words were spoken. He was not still going to become that at a later stage. It is the Son of the living God that Jesus the Christ is, thus the living God is the Father of Jesus. It is the Son of the living God that Jesus the Christ is, thus Jesus the Christ is not the Son of a dead God. It is the Son of the living God that Jesus the Christ is, thus Jesus the Christ is not a Son of the living God, i.e. one of many sons. It is the Son of the living God that Jesus the Christ is, thus Jesus the Christ came from the living God. It is the Son of the living God that Jesus the Christ is, thus Jesus is divine. It is the living God's Son, that Jesus the Christ is, thus there is only one living God.